Welcome back. The Herd is coming up next right here on FS1. Let's head over, check in with Colin Coward. Hey, Colin, what is on the show? Well, Andrew Luck retired before the season. Big Ben out now for the season. Drew Brees out for about half the season. Man, it's early, but some things feel like they're going downhill fast. That's coming up. Uh, Colin, yes, just breaking that news. Unfortunately, Big Ben is done for the season. He will have surgery and uh, after injuring his throwing elbow against the Seahawks yesterday. Shannon, initial reaction to the news. Sad. Mm -hmm. um, this is not how they envisioned it. They thought they had a team that could really contend, especially in the AFC North. Um, but I guess A.B. and Le'Veon would come in handy right about now, but they don't have either one of those guys. Mason Rudolph, he played well, played well enough that they could trade Josh Dobbs. But, Skip, this is a huge, huge blow to the mm. Steelers. So I think the Browns are about to get a win tonight, and they just got a huge break within this division because yep. the Pittsburgh team I thought was going to be a little better than Cleveland is now in a shambles. I'm also sorry for Ben. Uh, yep. It sounds like he's got some kind of almost like Tommy John issue because right. uh, his elbow was bothering him last week. You don't yeah. see that among quarterbacks. Right. This year was not meant to be for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Nope. Prediction tonight for score? Well, the, um, on the Farming Channel, there's a cow patty tossing contest that I'll be a little bit more really? interested in than this one. Wow. But I'm going to take, take the Browns 23-16. Okay, I'll take yep. the Browns 24-14, to but I still think Greg Williams will 14. bedevil Baker a little bit with some crazy blitzes. <sighs> duck, Odell, duck. Yep. Jeez, just hope for no more injuries. <laughs> yep. That is it for us after a busy weekend. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 9. Drew Brees injured his thumb when it hit Aaron Donald's hand after throwing a pass yesterday. Brees missed the rest of the game, and a new report today indicates he'll have to undergo surgery to repair a torn ligament and is expected to miss approximately six weeks. To make matters worse in the game, Cam Jordan appeared to have recovered a fumble and returned it for a Saints touchdown, but the play was initially ruled in a completion and blown dead. After a view, the play was overturned, but the touchdown was negated since the play was blown dead. The Saints ended up losing to the Rams 27 to 9. So Shannon, uh, think about this for a sec. If you are a Saints fan right now, how do you feel? I'm really bummed out on two folds because I feel I was robbed again on a call. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Skip, the officials are instructed, do not blow your whistle. Let it play out, and any play can be reviewed. Touchdown, change of possession, all those can be reviewed. But if you blow that play dead, yeah, they might get the ball back, but they're going to get the ball back at that spot. Why would you, in, in that situation, Skip, why would you blow it dead? Mm. You've been instructed not to blow it dead. Caught. Yes. yes. Let it play out. Mm -hmm. We go you, to can, the you can fall back on instant replay. Oh, hey. Yeah. Yep. After, further, after further review, the quarterback arm was going forward yep. incomplete. Okay. But you can't say after further review, we effed up. Because that's what happened again. And to make matters worse, Skip, now you get the news that Drew Brees is going to be gone for at least six weeks. Ugh. And I, Skip, I tweeted the moment because I've seen this happen too many times. Yep. Guys, and this is why in practice, <sighs> do not get anywhere near the quarterback because he's going through with his motion. He hit someone's hand, someone's helmet, someone's shoulder pad. Bad things normally happen. Hmm. I wore a thumb guard. I did the very same thing, blocking someone, and that thumb got bent Ooh. back. So I ended up wearing a thumb protector up under my glove. Did you tear your ligament? I stretched it really, really bad. Right. I assume Drew really? tore his? Yes. Because I because... don't think it's a broken... No, 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 Skip. It's... Because you have to understand, he's going, he's totally, he's throwing in that motion coming forward, and Aaron Donald's hand is coming here. Ow. Bap. That's what we got. And I, I knew it immediately. And you knew. Immediately. Because you've seen it done too many times. And... The Saints like, we can't catch a break. We got robbed in the championship game. We get robbed what could have been a touchdown. Now, Skip, you know, it's all moot now because it ended up being 27-9. But who knows, who knows what transpires? Now, they go up by a touchdown. 10-3. Mm -hmm. to three. You, you know, never know what's happening. Momentum happens. switches. No, I, you know. Officials, you got to be better. Now, the ref probably blew that dead. It's going to get downgraded. Skip, it's going to probably make it hard for him to have enough good game to ref a playoff game, maybe mm. the Super Bowl. But we'll get it there for the Saints. Mm. Yeah. Because, I mean, you you, you just cost us. It was you Walt Anderson's crew. Yes. Yep. Um, is, mm. that the, is that the guy that... That's not the one that called the Patriots the uh, tuck rule, is it? Uh, it might have been. Skip, Walt I don't, Coleman. I think. Right, okay. <laughs> but anyway, Skip, this this was bad. The refs blew the call, and now the Saints fan are feel, fans are feeling even worse because of the injury to Drew. 
Now, I hope Teddy, Teddy's making a lot of money to be a backup. He had an opportunity to go other places, he did. but he chose to stay in New Orleans. Now, this is why they pay Teddy Bridgewater the big bucks. He's been a star in this league, but now he must keep this thing afloat until Drew returns. Mm. And their schedule, they at, at Seattle, Oof. Dallas comes Oof. to them, Tampa comes to them, at Jacksonville, at Chicago, Arizona. That's the next block of six games mm. that Drew could possibly miss, and then they have the bye. Mm. I don't know if I've ever been more let down by what I considered a big stage, big early season game than I was by that one. The bottom huh. sellout mm -hmm. late right. in the first quarter. You, yeah. Because to your point, it's the old cliche of adding insult to injury yes. or injury to insult. insult. But in this case, it's just it's an insult to the Saints fans. Their team goes out there seeking revenge. Right. And their team belonged in the Super Bowl. I said all last year you were back and forth about mm -hmm. it. But whatever. The Rams went to the Super Bowl, and the Saints had an early season opportunity, you know, on a big stage, right. on Fox, to say, watch what we can do yeah. now. And instead, they lose Drew Brees for, what are we going to say, six weeks six or weeks so? Six weeks. Six weeks at the earliest. Give or take, yeah. It, it probably will take the heart out of this season. It will seriously damage their chances to even make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And then that happens again. And again, that wasn't the same as what kept them from going to the Super Bowl. Right. The magnitude of it obviously wasn't that huge. Mm -hmm. But it happened again. And it happened for all the reasons you just detailed to the point that how can the NFL allow this to keep happening? So we get back to what Jerry Jones used to argue with me about time and time again. This went on for like five years of arguing. His point was, hey, these controversies sell our, our product. Yeah. Because on Mondays, you guys are all talking about the blown call, right. and it's good for business. Mm -hmm. Really, it's good for business. <laughs> well, that's what Jerry thinks, because he said human frailty has mm -hmm. always been a part of refereeing right. football. Right. And so, and you agree to a yes, certain point yes, with yeah, that. Yeah, there's a certain human Where, element to it. Yeah, the human element, and in the in the end, there are going to be blown calls, and you're going to get your fair share and your unfair share. It seems like the Saints are getting only their unfair, unfair. share. You're right, you're but right. In, in, in Jerry's case, he, he loves it, he applauds it, and he welcomes it because it drives their train, mm -hmm. because people are outraged or they're they're at least debating right. how, how can we fix this mm -hmm. well one fix that is not a quick fix and it would be a very expensive fix is to make those officials full-time mm -hmm. yeah. where you mm -hmm. keep them all week training for the game mm -hmm. watching film going over these things again they say well they have jobs already and we don't need we wouldn't have enough for them to do during the week and we would have to pay them a ton of money. That's, that's, Skip, yeah. that's what it comes down yeah. to. It comes down to pay. Because NBA officials are full-time. Uh, what are baseball officials doing in November, mm -hmm. December, and January? Unpunished. Nothing. Nothing. Yep. So, mm -hmm. so the, the whole thing, it comes back to this, Skip. Money. So you keep your job. We'll pay you X for the time that you work. But no, come on, NFL. Well, obviously, they're saying well, 16 games versus... 82 versus 162. But, but it's, mm -hmm. I, I'm sure you, you can, look, there's enough ways to divvy up $10 billion. Yep. You can divvy up. So what, you got to give the officials, I, I don't even know how many officials there are. Maybe it's in six, uh, eight games going on in a given, well, 16 games in a given week. So what, nine officials per game? Okay, so what? It's going to cost you an extra five, five $10 million. Mm -hmm. Really? To make sure everything, that's skip, there's still going to be some blown calls. But it can't be to the egregiousness of this. No. Nope. You, you're instructed not to blow that whistle because that's what replay is there for, Skip, because now the, uh, uh, the opposing coach doesn't have to throw his challenge flag. Mm. It's all, turnovers and touchdown are all under instant review. Ta-da! No harm, no foul. Mm. Or you can come back, like, after further review, Skip, that was an incomplete pass. Still New Orleans, it's still uh, uh, the Rams ball. Mm. No, you, you, can't, you can't do this, Skip. Mm. You can't do it. Because let me tell you what, you know what people start to think, Skip? Something ain't on the up and up. I know. I got it. Especially, this, if this just, it, if it had been any other team, but it can't happen to the same team with the, the, the egregiousness of it. Mm. Now, I just think it just happened to be bad luck. The official, yeah, he, got, he had the whistle in his mouth and he automatically just blew it. Uh. But that was a fumble. Mm. And it looked like, Skip, it was a fumble from the get-go. I didn't need replay. I, I, in live action, it looked like yes. he lost the ball. Yep. 
it is it's, it's just bad. I just I just hope Teddy can come in because the they, Saints at Seattle is not. We saw what Seattle just did last week. This I mean Sunday they went to Pittsburgh and won. And the one and, and the one o'clock went and played that huge game. And then you got Dallas, Tampa, Jacksonville, mm -hmm. uh, Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. But Chicago is not an easy out no, either because they play defense. Yep. <sighs> just made me sick. Oh, I feel bad for it, him. And I loved it that our Mike Pereira jumped right in yeah. and said, they blew that. Yeah. He this knows. is what we teach. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like a cardinal rule on yeah. that play. Yes. Yeah. Just, just let, it, let it play out. Okay, what are you doing? Right. Why, why did you ruin our game? Come on. I mean, what did he say? I just, you know, I, 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 I messed up. No. How good is Pereira, though? He always gets it right. He and he knows. Good. Right. Ooh, does he doesn't it? like those moments. Well, you know, the thing is, you know, that's probably why Pereira, you know, he's too harsh with it. He's cut and dry. That was wrong. You know, you got to be a little bit. They normally want the officials to be a little bit more PC. Well, maybe this is what he was thinking. Mike's like, no, he blew it. No, he nope. blew it. He came <laughs> right out. He was the first one. He jumped all over it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he was, he, I, in his voice, I heard disgust. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You, that, that's too that's too obvious. Yeah. You can't make that you can't make that mistake. <sighs> Breeze though, he's only missed three games <sighs> in a Saints career. Only one of those with injury. I mean, it's just terrible. not. He's yeah. not. And some people an thought guy. this might be his last right. year. Uh, last uh, yeah. And the, skip, and that's the thing with the quarterback. It's not really the big. It's the fluky freak mm -hmm. injury mm -hmm. it is that sometimes that can derail. Yeah. That's yeah. okay. It's over now. It's not easy to be a Saints fan, not easy really to be a Vikings fan today Ooh. on my part. And we got a taste of Rodgers versus LaFleur yesterday <laughs> in their win over wow. the Vikings. I figured we'd have to talk about it. Are the guys impressed with the new look Packers? Are we going to go there?